everyone it's the melanin and minimalist how are you guys doing i wanted to make this video to share about something that I was watching from the broken wallet shout out to the broken wallet if you ever want to visit her channel go check it out but if you like if you want to like comment and share my video please do the melanin and minimalist so today's um topic is on lifestyle creep so what i'm learning i did not know that lifestyle creeping is when you actually go in and you have uh, maybe adjustment to your salary you get more money right so the lifestyle creep would mean you would try to go and purchase something like a new car or a new you want to go buy a new house immediately or get a whole bunch of credit cards so that's one of like the biggest financial mistakes ever because in a lifestyle creep you do think I deserve a better lifestyle and I'm not saying like my last video you saw me saying stop putting yourself on hold waiting to save all this money so what I would suggest in a lifestyle creep situation, you kind of look at what you really don't need. What you can rent, rent. What you could need to buy, buy. Sometimes we go in and we say, I need this, I need that. I know one time I want a boat. I do want, I do want a boat, but I didn't want to own a boat after I started studying out what the boat did as far as the expenses and how much it costs to own a boat now. You may say, well, if you had lots of money, you could do it. Yes, I could. But I didn't see the need, even if I did have additional funds. Um, I also wanted to own an RV. But then when I started really, really, truly studying what RVs, how much it costs to have an RV, it changed my mind. But so I can rent one and when I need it. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe the next future I'll be able to have a RV. But right now, as it stands, I don't need one that I have to purchase on an everyday basis i just need one that i could use when i need to use it so right now in my lifestyle in my who i am i don't need it on a daily daily basis i just need it for just a short time okay so one of the lifestyle hacks or lifestyle creeping that everyone definitely wants and definitely talks about is instagram when you when they call it instagram um uh, what's it called like flossing or whatever I am much older, so guys, please forgive me of my terminology. But it's almost like you are, what's it, doing it for the gram. That you literally don't really um, want to, I mean, you might own some things, only you're doing it because everyone else told you to do it. One of the things that um, I know that's major for many people is to own designer things. Like designer purses, designer belts, um, glasses, things of that nature, right? A lot of people want to own those I want to have those in their possession so they can show who they are you know Gucci um, um, Chanel Louis Vuitton this is name of a few okay Yeezys I mean whatever you you now if you like those things there's nothing wrong with that I just think that sometimes we uh, can get caught up with thinking that if we were to purchase those things that puts us in a different element or a different lifestyle and it can and it, and it can, right? I'm going to tie my shoes right now. <laughs> yeah, y'all getting the real deal. I'm not even going to edit this video. So it can cause that to be a situation where you can actually um, purchase things just because you like them, right? But if you look at your bank account, you say, well, do I really need the $400 Gucci belt? I don't think so. I don't need that $400 Gucci belt because I don't have $400 in my savings account. Or have four hundred dollars in my investment account so you got to kind of weigh out what is it that you really truly must have right because it's not wise to be um clothing rich or designer rich and bank account broke or savings account or investment account broke right so if it is a desire to get that belt i'm not gonna say you're gonna save 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 well i'll tell you what once you go half on the credit card and half in your cash so when you charge it, and I do say charge, now we're talking about debit cards because I use my credit cards now over my debit. But um, it, with, the, with the card, you can go and charge the belt or whatever you like, as long as you have the money within 30 days to pay it off or close to it. I'll give you 60, 60 days at most. That's not a lifestyle creep because you can pay it off within 60 days. A lifestyle creep when you're trying to get like, oh, I need an electric car because the gas prices went up, but your car is fine. <laughs> That's a lifestyle creep. You're trying to get a Tesla, but you know you don't really have the Tesla money. Some people get approved for a lot of things. People get approved for housing loans. People get approved for car loans. Um, 
credit cards, whatever. It does not mean you're supposed to max them out, and it does not mean, and I have done that, um, and it does not mean that you should go above your means. So say, for instance, you qualify for a quarter of a million dollar house, $250,000 house, or maybe a $300,000 house. It doesn't mean you have to go and buy a $300,000 house. That just means you qualified for it. What you could do to keep yourself in a sane position is to go under that and then what you want to put in the house or put in investment properties such as real estate properties, um, Airbnbs, um, apartments, duplexes. You can split up your money that way. You're making money. You make your money, make money for yourself. When you own a house, you do not get to make money for yourself. Yes, you own the property, I mean, you know, so to speak. You don't have to move out when someone says your know, lease is over or whatever. However, <clears throat> some people put so much money <clears throat> in their homes, they don't have anything else to live live, live for. Meaning that, not live for, what I'm saying, a better word. You don't have nothing else. All you have is your house. Some people might be okay with that. I personally think that's not the smartest move to go and put all the money in the house and you can't travel. You can't um, go out to eat dinner like you want to eat dinner. <laughs> you can't um, join different gyms or different uh, programs or go to concerts. That is definitely not a cute lifestyle. So a lifestyle creep can put you in a situation where you are not happy with life anymore because you literally have put all your money in things that don't really make money for you, okay? So again, I would say, make your money make money for you. Even if you start putting uh, stocks, buying stocks for 5 and $10, you don't get buy a partial amount of stock. Or you find a stock for $20. It is an industry that is going to grow. Here, say, like a hotel stock or an airplane stock. I'm just giving you some scenarios. Don't mean you have to do it. I do not offer any financial advice. I'm just sharing. To make you feel good, open up something in Cash App. They have um, savings accounts there. I'm not savings accounts. I'm sorry. Stocks and they have Bitcoin and all that. Uh, Acorn. It's so many. Robin Hood. I don't want to introduce anyone because I don't... Um, I don't really endorse uh, Webull or whatever. I don't endorse any of them, although maybe I should. <laughs> but all of those accounts, you can put little money in and it can build till you get the money that you can put more in. So you can go buy, you know, more stocks or EFT. Talk about that later. Um, index funds, things of that nature. But until then, just try to put your money where your money can grow. I have to personally open up a Roth IRA. We'll talk about that later because you, as you get older, if you don't have a personal um, pension plan, you may look into other avenues to put your money so you have money when you get older, right? But what this video is about is definitely about lifestyle creep. you got to make a decision how you really want to live. Now, personally, I don't have to have a Bentley. <laughs> like them those are really nice probably rent one a rose probably rent one of those um as well but you know traveling is more important to me than anything i'd rather go travel to a new country i'd rather go purchase an airbnb or invest in an airbnb to make money for me um i'd rather go to my thrift store to buy my clothes that i can um definitely save a lot of money on and then if you know i could flip the thrift you know i could go and their store shop, which I think I'm going to be doing. We'll talk about more hats later um, in my lifestyle creep. Purchasing nice clothing and attire from the thrift. This jacket I have on right now is definitely a thrift find. It was like nine bucks years ago. Love it. Okay. Um, but, but back to what I was saying is you got to make a decision on how you want to live. So if I go to a thrift store that I can save money on something else, I may want to travel more, you know. I may want to say, okay, I can go to this, get my glasses give you an example good eye exam eye exam and two pair of glasses for less than $80 that's a that's a good deal you don't have to buy $300 $400 glasses just because they're designer what are they really going to do different make you look cuter okay well, we'll go for that but again remember I said I'm only sharing with you on the lifestyle creep for those who already know that it will be a struggle I'm not talking about those who are like a Grant Cardone who I love absolutely who says, you know, it's a waste of money to buy all these cars when you can lease them, <laughs> the more luxury cars. And then he came from nothing. So like he said, he's very understanding and intentional about why he spends what he spends. Even wealthy people got you to be intentional. You can't just go around spending, spending, spending money, although they make their money make for them. A house, again, I repeat, does not make money for you. It's something you own. 
right off a few taxes. But to really make money for you, you have to either rent a, rent some uh, rooms in your house or you lost on to rent that house and you own another property. That's it, okay? But we'll talk about that later. Again, the lifestyle creep is when you start making more money and you decide, I gotta change my lifestyle. Now, we want nice things, but again, watch how you spend your money. All right, it's your girl, Lisa. Um, I'm just telling you now, you know, make make sure you put investments in, even if it's $5 or $10, $25, whatever, just put it in and start buying little stocks or whatever. Um, I don't know a lot of them about Bitcoin enough to tell you, so I won't tell you, and I'm not here to give financial advice. But I say, you know, have an emergency savings account, build one, even if it's not big, just build one. Then have a fun account for fun and having fun, you know. But definitely, just because you get a raise, just because you make more money, don't just jump into this whole big lifestyle change because it can come back to bite you. As you saw in 2020, a lot of people lost their jobs and they had probably six figure jobs. Many people have really nice jobs, careers, or whatever, and they lost them. Some of them didn't return back to work just because they got overwhelmed. So I'm telling you now, you got to start thinking ahead okay listen i made a lot of mistakes so i'm here to you know encourage the or anybody who's listening to this uh to this message <sighs> lifestyle creep be careful don't let it bite you don't buy what you can rent <laughs> not a house you know if you want to get up get out of the apartment life that's fine but don't buy what you can rent like boats some some cars you might like you just want to experience go and buy a motorcycle those slingshots um jet skis there's so many things that people buy and they don't really need it. You don't hardly ever use them. Unless you're going to rent those jet skis out to people, don't do it. Okay, remember, make your money, make money for you. Bye. Oh, like, comment, and share this video. And I thank you for giving me your time today. Take care.